Hey everyone, what's up? This is Dr. Charlie PT. Hope you are well wherever you are. Uh, in this video, I wanna share with you how to get the most out of your back, butt, and or sciatica pain treatment. So maybe you're seeing the chiropractor, maybe you're seeing the PT, maybe you're wondering if somebody like myself can help you because you're searching YouTube, or maybe you're seeing an acupuncturist, or whatever it is. In this video, I wanna share with you again how to get the most out of that treatment, all right? Now, that being said, for those of you who do not know me, again, my name is Dr. Charlie. I am a physical therapist. I also have my board special in orthopedics, and I teach people all around the world with unresolved back, butt, and sciatica problems how to fix themselves. Uh, if you are unsure of the cause of your back, butt, or sciatica pain, be sure to check out my DIY diagnostic guide. I lay out my entire algorithm for uh, determining the most likely source of your symptoms. All right, now, that being said, let's dive into it. All right, so here it is. So what you need to do to get the most out of your treatment is to ask how and why, not what. You change the quality of your questions, you change the quality of your answers. Or in this case, you'll change the quality of your results. So here's what I mean. So the number one question I get from people all around the world, people like yourself, people in pain, um, is what do I do to get rid of my back pain? What do I do to get rid of my piriformis syndrome? What do I do to get rid of my nerve pain? Charlie, what do I do? And even within that, what exercise do I do? Right? This is what everyone wants to know. And so that's an okay question, but there's an issue with it. What to do is the end result of a lot of thought, a decision-making process. It's essentially the receipt or the spit out of whoever you're seeing for your back, butt, or sciatic problem of their logic, right? So when people come to me, I ask them, hey, has anybody taught you what to do about your pain? And they say, yeah, like they taught me different exercises. But the issue is, is that Yes, they taught you different exercises. They taught you what to do, but they teach you why to do them. Why they chose to do that exercise over that exercise. Why they chose to not do that exercise or not perform that treatment or not do that technique that they just did with the person next to you. And so if you're always asking what to do, then again, you're just getting the end result of all the logic and all the decisions that it took to get there. You're just seeing the receipt, again, or the printout of all these different inputs. So in your healthcare provider's mind, there's a certain algorithm, there's a certain thought process that they're going through to try to figure out what to do with you or what not to do with you. It might be based off their experience, probably is, hopefully is. Uh, hopefully it's also based off science. Um, it may be based off their assessment or whatever, all right? But here's what happens if you ask what to do. They teach you an exercise or something to do. You go home, you do it, and guess what? Maybe it works or maybe it doesn't work. If it does work, then great, but you don't really know why it worked or how it worked or how that person even determined that it was best for you. And so you do it and then the problem comes back as pain often does. Something flares up or something happens again, maybe a week down the road, a month down the road, six months down the road, a year down the road, whatever it is, it comes back. And you don't know what to do because all you were told is what to do, not why, you were doing it in the first place. Not how whoever you were seeing was able to come to that conclusion about why it was best for you. And so what I want you to start asking your providers is instead of what to do, I want you to ask them why they're doing it with you. So ask your provider, why did you choose to do this exercise? Or why did you choose to do this hands-on technique over that one? Why not that stretch? Why not that strengthening exercise? And again, they'll give you, hopefully, their decision-making logic around how they arrived at that conclusion. They'll probably maybe state some evidence or some science, hopefully, or they will state maybe their experience or what they found. And this question, instead of what should I do to resolve my pain, but why should I do it? And how did you arrive at that conclusion? Because that's where the real value is. Again, if you just ask what to do and it doesn't work, well, then you're kind of screwed. Hey, what do I do next? That didn't work. What do I do next? That didn't work. What did I do next? You're just waiting on someone, right? You're dependent upon someone else to think for you. But if someone can train you to think, if someone can teach you their framework, either diagnostically and or on the rehab side of things, how they figured out that you should do something or you shouldn't do something, and they can share with you the way that they thought to arrive at that conclusion or that recommendation for you specifically, then you can start to think like them. And when you can start to think like them, then you are in a better position to be self-sustainable and make decisions around what you should do. So if you understand the why and the how, then you'll know what to do. People, when they come to me for these back butt sciatica problems, I teach them a process. I call it hunting for motions, for example, when it comes to the exercise side of things. And because I teach them how to understand what motions are safe and what they should do, 
what exercises they shouldn't do and how to tell, and the different ways the body can move and what their options are. Then, without ever chatting with most of these folks, they're able to find the motion that works for them, the one motion. They don't have to do 10 exercises. They don't have to do a shotgun approach like so many people take when it comes to getting out of back butt or sciatica pain. They're able to identify the one or two things that work best for them. And when that doesn't work, they can just go back into the process because they know exactly how I got there. And it's a framework. It's a system. It's repeatable over and over and over again. It works every single time. And so if you ask somebody, your provider, well, why are you doing that with me and not that? And they can't answer that question precisely, succinctly, with any type of educational backing and or scientific backing. And you can tell that their reasoning is really not sound and you'll know, you'll know when they're kind of just like, well, this is just what we do for people with back pain. Or well, like this helps just get you moving better. If they start giving you answers like that, then you're gonna know you're in trouble and you should probably find somebody else who can give you a better explanation for why they're doing what they're doing. So that's the first thing that comes out of that question, right? Is that you can identify that whoever you're seeing right now either has some type of clinical reasoning and or logic or they don't. And if they don't, well, I suggest you go somewhere else. And if they do, great. And if they do, you get to see how they think. You get to understand how they think and how they arrived at the conclusions and or the recommendations that they did for you. And the power in that is that you can begin to think like them. If you can begin to think like them, then you have all the power in the world because you not only understand now why and how they got to the conclusions or the recommendations that they did for you, but because of that, the what just comes naturally. You know exactly what to do. And so this way, when it's Father's Day, like it is today, and you are wherever you are, or it's some other day, it's the middle of the night, and your chiropractor, your PT, your acupuncturist, your massage therapist is not there to fix you and tell you what to do. You know what to do because you ask the question of like, why did you choose to do that? And how did you get there? What were the steps in your logic? What were the steps in the math problem? Okay, you gave me the answer, right? But how did you get there? You did this and you did this and you did this, right? And have them spell it out for you. Have them pull up a whiteboard. Have them explain to you exactly how they got to the rec recommendation that they did for you. Why they're doing a treatment that they are for you. And why they aren't doing other treatments. And again, that is the value. And that is how you squeeze all the juice out of the current treatment. And or really what you're paying for is not what to do, even though it's what you think you're paying for. I think what you should be paying for is the expertise and the understanding that can come from working with someone who specializes in this area. And so this is why I'm passionate about teaching people all around the world how to solve their problems. I used to fix people. I used to crack people's necks and backs and massage things and do all this stuff and teach people sheets of exercises. And then I found like, yeah, that's great, but that's the what. I'm great at fixing people in the moment, but guess what? People like you in pain are terrible at fixing themselves and it's not your fault. But it wasn't until I broke down my logic and I sat down for years and decoded my entire thought process to get to the point where like, yeah, that one exercise, like very quickly, I spit that thing out. But how did I know to do that for that person? And that's the value. And so be sure to ask these questions. You're not being defiant. You're not challenging their knowledge, expertise, and or understanding. In fact, most people who really care about helping people are more than happy to educate people on what they need to do to be self-sustainable. So hopefully this was useful. Again, ask why and how, not what to whoever you're seeing for your back butt or sciatica problem, all right? And again, if you're interested in potentially working together, you can check the links below. Be sure to uh, leave a comment below and let me know your thoughts. Was this helpful or was it not? Thanks so much, everyone. Chat soon.